All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our college algebra, homework number five. In my lab math wants us to solve, and we have an absolute value inequality. So I've got that written down up here. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing you have to do when you're solving an absolute value inequality is you have to isolate the absolute value. So we can see that this absolute value has a coefficient of 4. So what I'm going to have to do is divide both sides by 4 to get those 4s to cancel. i got to get rid of that 4 by dividing by 4. And so that's going to leave me the absolute value of x plus 7 less than or equal to 2. Now, the next step, now that we have the absolute value isolated, we need to ask ourselves, is this true? And if it is, we're going to split it in two. If it's true, split it in two. So is there positive stuff that is less than or equal to two? Well, yes, there, there is. There's a lot of numbers that are positive less than or equal to two. So this is true. So we're going to split it in two. So we're going to have x plus seven less than or equal to 2. Notice the first time you split it, you leave it exactly the same. And the second time, we're going to say x plus 7. Notice the stuff in the absolute value stays the same, but the inequality and the 2 have to change. So it becomes greater than or equal to negative 2. And then we have to put the appropriate word in the middle. Since we have less than or equal to, that says we're going to use AND. If this inequality would have been greater than or greater than or equal to, we would use OR. But less than or equal to or less than, that's an AND, and that's kind of important. All right, so now let's solve for X. Bringing the plus 7 over is going to make that minus 7. 2 minus 7 is negative 5, and bringing the 7 over again makes that negative 7. Negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. So here is the solution. Let's put that on a number line and see what we've got. So negative 9 is smaller than negative 5. Those are going to be solid dots since they have the equal to part. And means that you're going to shade in the middle. We're going to shade in between. So in interval notation, this would be everything from negative 9 to negative 5. Whoops, not a parenthesis. That's a bracket. Because solid dots say that those values are included and that's what brackets say. It says the negative 9 and the negative 5 are included. Now, notice over here in our My Lab Math, that is not the way that they want it, okay? But we do know that we have an AND statement, so answer A and D, those can be excluded because they have OR. Also notice that answer choice B doesn't have the equal to. So it's going to have to be C, and we know that X is greater than or equal to negative 9, but it's less than or equal to negative 5. And so there is that worked out. Notice in both uh, set notation and interval notation. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.